OK, now let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen and Mark's got Snapper on the menu today, Mark. Yeah, I've got Snapper, we're going to roast it and we're going to fillet it. And I'm even going to get Mike to fillet it as well and show you how easy it is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was a great tip, by the way. I'm going to use that in the restaurant as well. Right, we've also got pumpkin. We're going to roast pumpkin. We're going to enhance the flavour with some pine nuts. We've got feta, rosemary and a little bit of spinach. I'm going to show you how easy and fast it is to cook spinach. So there's no excuse to have those greens, especially in winter now. So first job, I'm just going to cube this um, pumpkin. So just to make it a bit safer when you're chopping pumpkin, because it's quite, um, you know, it's, it's round and it's going to roll over the place and it's quite hard, so you do need to put a bit of pressure on the knife. So I've just taken the bottom off, so I've got a flat surface on the board. And then get to about sort of a centimetre, put the knife in and then just sort of push it down so you're getting these nice strips. So just do this first. Don't worry about the peel at the moment and now all the seeds. And then all you want to do is just go around and you can just cut the seeds out. That's fine. So just discard those. Nice and easy. And then just want to sort of square it off. So just taking a little bit of the skin off and you're just cutting it into strips. And then all you do is just go around after, just take the skin off, and then you'll just end up with these nice little cubes. So just roughly, and we're going to roast these in a hot pan. OK, so just carry on sort of going along. A little bit of olive oil, nice big nonstick pan, and we're going to start roasting them in the pan first, get a nice bit of colour, and then whack them through the oven. And you just want them to start softening, but you don't want to, like, cook them too much that they're going to turn into a puree. So we want a little bit of texture on there, and then we're going to add lots more texture later. So just get those in and, you know, chop a little bit more up. And then when we come back a bit later, I'll show you the pumpkin. We'll finish the pumpkin and we're going to fill it that snapper. To the Mastercraft kitchen with Mike and Mark, who are making a snapper supper. That's right, and I'm going to try and actually fill it a fish. No! So stand by, <laughs> anything could happen. OK, Mark, so what have we done so far? This pumpkin feta and pine nut mix I absolutely love at the moment. It's Why is it? Yeah, here we go. So the pumpkin's there, so it's roasted. It's got a nice bit of colour. If you just sort of squeeze it, it's starting to give a little bit. It's still holding its shape, but we know it's cooked. So all we need to do now, sprinkle a few pine nuts in there. Yum. And we're just going to get a little bit of colour on there. You know, not, not much. You don't right. need to. Uh, you could just serve it as it, as it is now. Uh, and then we're just going to finish it with a bit of rosemary as well. So just strip all your leaves off your rosemary. Oh, that's making it gourmet, isn't it? <laughs> the rosemary. Yeah, the rosemary. Yeah. I would have forgotten to put the rosemary in. I can see why you're the chef. Okay. So these little tips and tricks. Yeah. So just, just give it a rough chop and then we can pop that in there. Nice. Classic mixture. And the colour that we're looking for on our pine nuts, is there sort of, are we getting any well, colour on them? I, I mean, it's, it's up to you. It's, it's whoever's going to eat it, you know. You, a little bit of colour, you can take it to quite crunchy and dark, get the flavour out if you want, or you can just serve it like that. I mean, it's all up to you. Mm -mm. Um, and then all we do, last minute, just before you serve it, just cube some feta, pop that in, give it a good stir around, and then the heat from the pan is just going to sort of melt that feta, you know, just warm it and melt it. OK, absolutely. That is good perfect. to go. Right, okay. so this is the moment you've all been waiting for. I uh, know, I can't wait. We That's a good are snapper. going to fillet this snapper. Did you catch that yourself? I certainly did. Yeah, at the supermarket, probably. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so um, so we got this at the fish market, and it's been uh, gutted and scaled. So that means all the guts are out. It's all cleaned, and it's been scaled, and um, it's just been left out in the fridge for a couple of hours, uncovered, and it's just starting to sort of dry out like a little bit. Not dry out, but just sort of take that excess uh, liquid off. Right, first job. I'm just watching intently. Make a little cut down the tail. Yep. And then just behind the head, you've got this sort of hard bit under, just above the um, flappy bit. Mm -hmm. Um that's a technical term. OK. And, and then just, just do a nice, a nice slice all the way down, okay. like that. So we've got two slices going across. And then you want to put the head up. And then tip of your knife, sort of just run down, make a little incision. And you're just running down the sort of back of the, the fish there and joining it up to the other cut. OK. And then you can sort of just lightly spread it and you get your knife in there. And then lift it up. Yeah. And we're just following, the knife's just oh. following on top of the bone. Look at that! So it's nice and easy. So just take your time so you don't like um, leave lots of flesh on the bone and get to about halfway. Yeah. And if you just see now, you've just got a little bit of the backbone in here. I can see that. So you want to go up and under. So up just, and under, yeah. up and under. And then you can just follow it down and then you've got the ribs, the ribs here. So you can just cut through the ribs and then you just left with your fillet. Oh, look like at that. that. So flip the fish over, but then obviously you've got to do it sort of the opposite way, so the, the head's this way. Right, so I'm going to do uh, that and then the head and yeah. then the back and then... And then you can just go under the rib cage there 
Just take that off. Yeah. Right, and then you've got lots of bones down here. So okay. just down here so you can feel them. So you can either get some pliers, pull them out, mm -hmm. or if you want, if you're lazy, just go either side and just sort of cut them out. Okay, well, we've worked okay. out which one you are. Well, <laughs> just to show the viewers at home. And then you left this beautiful fillet. Look at that. Well, okay, that's impressive, mate. I'm impressed. There you go. So yours needs to look like that. Oh. And, and if it doesn't, you're not going to get it. <laughs> right, so I've just got a non-stick pan here. So just over a medium heat, a little bit of olive oil in there. I'm just going to warm the olive oil up, and then I'm going to put it skin side down. Okay? So just going to pop it in. So you can hear that sort of sizzling. You don't want it sizzling more than that. So nice medium heat. And you can see the fish is just sort of contracted up. Pop the other piece in. And then you can take it off the heat for about sort of 15, 20 seconds. And the fish is just going to relax. And then we're going to push the fish down. Can you just help me for a minute, please? Um, what have I done here? Because I need just to get do, past the Just do skin. a nice... Uh, yes, yeah, so all the there. way. All the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, all the way. Use the knife to cut it, yeah. Mike. Okay. Just, just watch your fingers. <laughs> OK, sweet. So I've done the tail, the and then I'm yeah, going to come it. down here. Yep. So a gentle incision, you reckon? Yeah, just a little incision sort of going onto the backbone. Yep. And then you can use the tip to go under and follow that bone oh, yeah. down. Oh, yeah. I'm getting this. Oh, yes. Success, he says. It's very early <laughs> stages, though, isn't it, Mark? That's why you're No, laughing. no, it's good. It's good. Keep going. And then, I mean, the whole thing with fillet and fish, to get it nice and... Um, nice and even, is to be confident with your knife. Nice, sharp knife, but you have to do long, confident strokes. OK. Right here. Oh, OK. So I'm just having... And, and if you start sawing like that, it's going to... It's going to butcher it, as we okay. call it. Oh. So, uh, but that's it, yeah. So nice, long strokes. Oh, and I then you get down to that sort of backbone. Yeah. And then up and then under. Up and under. I've done this. I'm getting there. Oh, I've hit go. a bone up and under. That's a go. And then if it, if it helps now, you can turn the fish down and then you can sort of go from this side and then you can push out under the belly. Oh, OK, sweet. OK, and what, uh, what are you doing with your fish? You concentrate on your fish and I'll surprise yeah. you at the <laughs> end. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so now it's nice and flat. So you can see it's flat, so we've got um, full contact with the skin on the surface of the pan, so we know we're going to get a nice, even brown skin. So at this stage, you can turn it up a little bit more and just keep cooking it until you've got a nice golden skin. So you can see the fish is cooking around here. Well, it's looking good, Mike. OK. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, and they're hurrying me along too, but I just really <laughs> want to get this done. OK, oh, now I'm butchering it, aren't uh, I? Oh. OK, sweet. Well, OK, come back. <laughs> come back later, and we will finish off this fish. Now, over to the Mastercraft kitchen where Mark's finishing off his roasted snapper. How's it looking, Mark? We are finished. Uh, actually, your fillet looks pretty good, actually. Ah, see, I wasn't And too I'm actually going to serve yours. So I've just uh, <laughs> roasted it, a little bit of butter, and then finished it with some lemon. And then we've got the spinach there. We just sautéed quickly with a little bit of garlic. And here it is. Oh, Look at that. yes. Oh, yeah. That's what, pretty what, good, doesn't it? Is it the butter that's making it glisten like that? Is that a little secret? Yeah, the skill of the chef and, and the butter. <laughs> <as well. laughs> nice work. OK, can't wait to try that. What's on the menu tomorrow? All right, tomorrow we've got pork chops and we've got miso eggplant. Mm, yum. OK, really delicious. Sounds that, really it? good. Um, I can't wait to try that because it sounds absolutely amazing. <laughs>